Hey, hey, people, you here with Sean, a.k.a. that real estate guy. All right, so let's talk about the uh, March 2024 housing market report. In this report, it's going to say Philadelphia Metro because we're talking about the Philadelphia Metro section. So the data comprises of Philadelphia, Newcastle County, Delaware, the beginning of Delaware, on down to the mid uh, of the state. It takes it on down to like Smyrna, from the border to Smyrna. All right, so let's go over some key factors here. The date of this data was April 4th uh, when they captured this. All right, so it's key market statistics that we follow as professionals that can kind of tell us what's going on in the market. So what I'm trying to explain to many buyers right now we just hit the spring market. The spring market is the heating up of buyers looking for homes to purchase. Currently, what I'm seeing is that it's quite a few buyers out here trying to buy. Very little uh, inventory. And then of that inventory, what is good inventory and what is the percentage of bad inventory? Every last home that clients of mine have selected as their favorite houses that they want to see potentially purchase have gone under contract and it's gone under contract pretty quick. Um, it has ramped up in the last few weeks. So what does that mean? I'm going to dive into what it means. I'm going to dive in to what data really means and how you can read data that can help you make decisions all right so what does this really mean in true layman terms the best looking house is going to have multiple offers now that could range it could be a few maybe two or it could be quite a few like eight depends on the house depends on the location depends on the price all right so let's look at some key factors though Let's look at what happened over the last few years. All right, closed sales. If you go back to 2023, just look at that. Just look at that. We're in March. That's that's down compared to last year. But look at what's up and look at the percentage. I wrote on my page we may be expecting the market to be 8 to 10% higher than where it was at before. I'll explain the reason why. So over the 2023, 2024, look at the difference. That was the medium. This is now the medium. This is the percent. So the person that purchased here today, home is worth 7.7% more that's a smart purchase that's equity almost built in equity within a year now let's look at this though year to date over 2023 315 the average is 343 look at the percent 8.9 now let's let's take this in consideration if you were to invest your money Invest your money. It's not one bank on the planet that will give you 8.9%. Just not. It's other vehicles that you can put your money into. It's not a 401k. It's not a 403b. It's none of those. Housing can do this. And it's one other product. And I won't say what that product is. All right. So medium days on market. Let's look at this. Back in 2023. It was 18. Year to date, 17. March 23 is 13. It's 13. It stays the same. Look at pending sales. Pretty close. It's down by 2.2%. New listings down by 11. Okay. Active listings down by 2.8. Worth, worth of inventory. Like, this is key. 
this basically tells you how fast um, a market will run out of inventory. We'll have nothing to sell. All right. Now that's gonna it's gonna fluctuate. Now we're just looking at the Philadelphia metro area. This is all combined. The data is all together, right? But let's look um specifically, you know, uh let's look at Pacific data. Let's let's get down to the local market. All right. Now in the Philadelphia County, um, the difference between sales, closed sales, is negative 0.12.4. All right, so that's down. Inventory is down. Let's look at uh, Newcastle County. It's down 8.6. All right, but look at this. Let's look at this. Pending sales up 11.8, right? So it's been an increase. The amount has decreased, right? Or that increase between this March 24th, it increased. But look at where it was at here. It's a lot of houses. Substantial amount, right? Okay. Let's scroll back up. Okay, so let me address something, the elephant in the room. All right. This buyer or these buyers, they would look like geniuses. They would look very smart because their money that they invested into this property changed by 7.7% .7 increase. This is why so many outlets will say, don't put your money in a bank. Put your money in something that appreciates. Housing appreciates. All right. Look at this buyer. 315. The average is 343. Increased by 8.9%. Person looks like a, a, a brilliant person. Right. So here's the plan of attack. People are overthinking it. People are, you know, looking at uh, if I buy this house, you know, at best, if you buy the house, a year and a half, a year to a year and a half, if you don't want it, if this continues, what it, which it has been continuing, you'll be able to sell that house for more money. If you work with me, I'll do all that I can do to cut the cost so then you walk away with a nice sum of money if you just change your mind I'm not even gonna you know charge you like that I'm just gonna help you sell it all right so that's numbers the numbers don't lie this will continue to be this way and I will explain later in this year rates may get cut and i say may because they they've been talking about it the federal reserve may cut the rates when they cut the rates this median price will go up and i know many people think it will go down right but that's not how it works rate cuts cause the interest rates to go down which then causes the prices of the homes to go up so that 350 it depends on what it what 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 it will change to? I predict anywhere between five and ten percent, eight to ten percent. Let's do the math on that. Let's do simple math. Many people struggle with math. Many people um, just don't do math well. So let's let's say at five percent. That same home will go up by seventeen thousand five hundred, three hundred fifty. You'll have an appreciation of seventeen five hundred. If it goes up by eight percent, that'll be twenty eight thousand dollars. That this home will now be worth more. Um, 
I wish, I wish when I first purchased that that would have happened at that rate. Today is happening. The reason why it's happening, as long as those inventory levels stay low, this will continue to happen. Will the rates improve? Well, will the inventory improve like that? Who knows the future? But we don't think it's going to improve real quickly. Um, we do know the demand is there. The demand and supply are not matching. So that's what's going to cause these prices to go up. Now, just a few years ago, an average house in the region was not 350000 it was probably around 315 or something, if I recall. I would have to do some data uh, research and then pull a report, but I'll share it with you. Um, is it smart to buy now? I'm going to say if you have the means to do so, I would say yes. If you don't have the means, do not stretch your means. If you can't afford 350 um, because you just don't make enough money, that's okay. You're going to look for something that you can't afford. This is just telling you the average. It's not the in all be all. All right. Just wanted to show this to you, share with you some data. I'm going to do a different video about more specifically. Um, but I'm your smart agent. I'm your realtor that will give you the facts and then let you make your decisions. I will help you, guide you. Most likely, if you want to get a house, we're going to get a house at some point. But right now, the demand is there. The inventory is still teetering a little low. I've watched at least 20-some houses go off the market in the last few days. Each time I identify maybe a good house for a potential client, the house goes off the market. It's moving that quickly. All right. If you have any questions, you want to know something specific, reach out to me. I'll be, I'm here to help.